Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And we have another tale of the fail from the SNP, with Scotland's rent cap backfiring and with huge, big rises in rents for tenants. They're seeing these rises, and it's the rent cap brought in by Sturgeon that's being blamed. Just as the rent rises in Scotland are up and high, rent rises across the rest of the UK are much lower and falling. This is because there's been several years in which there was no rent rises at all, and it's only recently that even tiny rises were permitted. That and the fact that you couldn't have evict anyone, there was an eviction ban that was implemented also by Sturgeon, are behind these increases. And it's not surprising. Instead of doing small amounts piecemeal over the last five or six years, they've banned it almost entirely since 2020, and it is now showing up for what it is. Another huge uplift and stress on tenants at a time when so many landlords have already got out of the sector because of the pressures they're under. It's going to be very, very hard for people to find any kind of home to rent in Scotland. All the fault, I think, of the SNP. They've got no one else to blame for this one. But the growth is particularly pronounced in Edinburgh and Glasgow, where rental costs are rising much faster than even London. 12%. 12% increase. It is stunning. This is a cost of living crisis and a housing crisis rolled into one and done so because Nicola Sturgeon failed to understand the, the consequences of her actions. Given the fact that so many landlords are leaving the, the sector and that the Rents are now equalising to what they should have been had there not been any kind of rent control. It's not surprising they're rising and they'll continue to rise as yet more landlords leave. There will be fewer houses, fewer homes, and the ones that remain will, of course, be even more expensive. If you are to totally create a self-made crisis in housing, this is how you do it. Well done. SMP. Thanks for listening. Bye.